Uh, Salman and Salman guys, um, I hope the noise that is happening in the back is uh, it's not too loud. Uh, my kids are that darling guys. Tomorrow trampoline is heavy fun. School's closed, so I'm excited for them. Um, as of today, I had the absolute privilege of being a guest uh, on E Daily Theater. Uh, so that's a talk show on SABC One. Um, absolute pleasure uh, an amazing amazing hosts amazing uh, um, audience stage uh, but crowd tendence um, and the topic of the day was around a inf inferiority complex you know so we were unpacking inferiority complex within um you know, the black nation, you know, and, um, you know, the, the, the challenges about TV is that ETV, there's, it's in segments, you know, because they need to pay rent. So they obviously need to go into ads, you know, so they, they will have a discussion for, uh, I don't know, like a, a minute or 30 seconds and then break. And then another minute then break. And then in those breaks, you're sitting and you're waiting and, you know, then the, the, the audience wants to talk and, you know, we had guests on, on, on the Zoom call. And it's so and it's so challenging at times because you might have a, a, a thought and you want to uh, take the audience, the viewers at home, the, the, the host through this journey around inferiority complex. But again, just the, 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 the medium of of TV just means that Azir, let's go. You know. Um but it's such an important topic and I felt good. Let me rather just jump on here quickly uh talk a little bit on it hopefully we also get to you guys also get to watch it on e, e daily theta i'm not too sure when it's going to air um one of these good days but uh, it's one of those topics that are are, are something very it's, it's something very close to me you know because we we all experience inferiority complex i did a video around imposter syndrome you know which is also a form of inferiority complex it's 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 a level of just in jail, feeling insecure you know, and that's how I try to approach my talk today of, hey guys, let's first define these terms. You know, what is inferiority complex? Before we jump, you know, into the deep end, what is it to feel inferior? Inferior how? You know, the whole concept of feeling inferior, it means that I feel inferior in comparison to, you know. So again, when we talk about an inferiority complex, we talk about comparisons, you know. Uh, in comparison to that person or those people, I feel inferior, you know. Um, and to have it means that it's a feeling, it's an emotion, you know, because I won't, I, I don't have an inferiority complex compared to, let's say, uh, Usain Bolt, let's, let's say, or, um, cause he's faster, he's faster than me. I don't have an inferiority complex compared to, uh, Lewis Hamilton in racing. So again, when do you feel this inferiority complex? When is there an emotional attachment? Because when it comes to Tiger Woods and golf, I don't have an inferiority complex. When it comes to Lewis Hamilton, I don't have inferiority. Usain Bolt, I don't have an inferiority complex. When is it? So again, we need to unpack what it is in a space um, where you feel, where you feel this is your competition. You know, where you feel you should be there. So then you start becoming insecure. So again, if it's a matter of, let's say, a financial bracket, you know, then I go to my peers and to my peers, once I get there, whoever my peers and maybe a level above, I might feel inferior in that space or someone that I find myself comparing or competing with. That's the inferiority complex, you know. Obviously, there's levels and degrees of it, you know. Maybe you might feel inferior compared to Bill Gates, Waliko Dangote, but you, you don't really have an emotional attachment to that. So it's not like you'll feel uh, too less than, you know, because they're so far to a point where they no longer become your competition. You know, if you go to the average 16-year-old girl, the average 16-year-old girl doesn't feel a type of way to how beautiful a Beyonce looks. She, 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 that's, that's not her daily. There's no real emotional day-to-day -day attachment to how beautiful Beyonce is. Her breakdown and her inferiority complex comes when it compares to her friends. If she is a young girl of 16 and from a physical point, she hasn't yet um, developed physically. Let's say she, she, her friends are taller than her or in terms of what the boys of that age 
find attractive if she hasn't developed to that point then she'll have an inferiority com a complex in comparison to her peers you know if you're a young boy and all your friends have gone through puberty you know and they've gone taller and they've got broader shoulders whatever the case may be and you in that space in comparison to the person who you haven't gone through puberty you your 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 voice is still high you're still a short one you might have an inferiority complex in that space so it's very very uh, uh, important for us to define these things and to have an understanding of what it is in order for us to say I've got inferiority complex in one two three four five because I can guarantee a lot of you guys don't have an inferiority complex in comparison to surfers on the job surfers what do I care you don't have an inferiority complex in terms of people that go uh, I, I don't know mountain climbing if that's not your shit you don't care really so there's no emotional attachment to it therefore you don't feel in, an inferiority complex to that however if you're a person who likes going out having fun uh, 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 and you're going to spaces where there might be a financial uh, 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 implement implement blah. there's a financial im Guys, Pumichi means this is paid. There's a financial what what is shandisi to it. And when we ask to know hundred rand, if you find yourself in a space where people are buying Ama VSOP, people are popping champagne, and you've only got hundred rand, and these are your peers or your competition or where you see yourself that you should be, you'll have an inferiority complex if that is your thing. If you are in a space where you get jive or trauma for and you can't dance and everybody there, the currency of the day is Jaiva, you'll feel inferior. If you're in a space academically where everybody's just hitting A's, you know, and you feel these are your peers and you feel which this is where you should be or could be and you're competing with them, then you will feel inferior to, inferior with your 60 or even with your 70, you'll still feel inferior. You know, again, this is a lot to do with com competition, you know, and comparing and insecurities based on those peers or what you deem important. That's where the inferiority complex then creeps in. You know, so always be cognizant of that. Which it's not a, a point of a, 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 it, it is, but it's if it's not something that you care too much about, or if it's something that's too far from it, it doesn't real, it doesn't really affect your day to day. You know, so again, if you and your peers and people that you look up to compete with are all drinking, you know, amakase light in amahantas dry, then that's fine. Then you won't feel a type of way with guys that are there drinking ace of spades, you know, because you're like, oh, I'll get there. I don't feel inferior because in my space, get in my space, I'm happy to my peers and who I'm competing against and the girls that I'm competing for, we are all in this bracket, you know, so I'm not going to overly try and compare myself to that guy or that guy because they are not in my space. So if we can understand that, then it leads us to the next one where we look at black people generally having an inferiority complex. Why do we have an inferiority complex? Because the game that we're competing with, we're competing for resource, we're competing for jobs, we're competing for business, we're competing for this, 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 and this. Therefore, we are in the similar game with those who have had resource. You know, so again, if I'm going to come pay the average black person to the average white person the average black person starts behind the average white person we know this due to past injustices they still exist let's not pretend like they don't exist they still exist so again if we are in the same pool and we are competing for the same job you know and we're competing for the same business with this person who has a leg up that i don't have you know this person who his father was someone his mother is someone i don't have that because i come from uh, a single mother Elokshini, then all of a sudden I will feel that this person is above me and I'm below and that day will start the inferiority complex. If I'm in a situation where I'm going to university and I'm in a class with my peer who got their first car at age 20, you know, um, they uh, their parents pay their fees and me and I'm and me and I'm come my once I'm in that space and those now become my peers this guy, Jono, whose parents bought him a car straight out of high school. This person, Jono, who uh, parents are paying for the university. And me, Nangu Temba. And I'm on Nesfus. And I'm Kombering. I'm a Dixie. And I'm staying in Eprikstein, you know. And we're in a commune. And there's 10 of us. There'll be an inferiority complex against my peer. Because I'm competing in the same classroom here accounting with this person. If this person was just there in Bryanston living their best life. And we bumped into pick and pay. I didn't care. But the moment they're in my world and I'm competing with them and i'm comparing myself with them that's when the inferiority complex then creeps in so let's not pretend like it doesn't exist it does exist it exists in academia i can tell you right now there's so many students who are in their classes and they wanna they they woke up to nothing 
that pattern is and then there's this person who comes from privilege and they have to compete with that person and all of a sudden they feel less than you know so it's it's something that's so incredible it's something that's so painful and it's something that could lead to other things anxiety depression etc etc you know the hard part comes here because now we have to deal with this inferiority complex we have to make sure and the best way that i can see is to no longer compete you know so the best way that i can work on my inferiority complex because guys la la we all have insecurities now and we will into now my insecurities in a way why because there'll always be someone who's taller than you there'll always be someone who's better looking than you there's always going to be someone who's richer than you there's always going to be someone who's something more than you that you yearn for you know again inferiority complex is something that you are trying to compete and compare for you know so if i'm not caring if there if i don't care about height and there's a guy who's shorter than me you know, like society doesn't care about short guys let's be honest society doesn't care about short guys so why must i feel a type of way that osban bani are shorter than me i'm not going to feel insecure to that you know because i know what i'm winning this race even if there was the 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 problem is if height is a commodity and I also yearn to be two meters tall and I'm in a space where everybody's two meters tall, I will feel insecure if that's the situation. So it's also just understanding what the best way for me to manage that is one, I take myself out of the NBA and I go into another space where I am okay and it no longer makes me feel insecure. Maybe if I'm a little bit taller and I feel a little bit superior or I stop competing on grounds of height. And I find something else. I say, hey guys, let's compete in terms of strength. So as much as you guys are tall, I know I'm stronger than you guys. Perfect. I then no longer use this as a metric and I use that as a metric and I try and program and uncondition my mind. If a, a metric is something like money, then maybe instead of going to these high end uh, places where guys are spending 20 30k a night maybe go to a space that is within your bracket you know you already are struggling to spend 2000 rand a night why are you going to 20000 rand places where we are in here? instead of going to those places go to a place where the average guy is spending 500 bucks 600 bucks you go there you spend a thousand you feel great about yourself you'll no longer feel insecure in those spaces your chest will go up maybe maybe with time as you work harder you'll be able to spend 5k 10k whatever you is floats your boat instead of you going to chiga machiga and try to show your dance moves and feel insecure when you see wonke la machita say first look i say first look instead of comparing yourselves to those guys maybe jive against to pencing so that you can feel a little bit better about yourself feel a little bit confident while you practice slowly but surely developing your skills in order for one day to get to a chiga machi those are the little steps that i can try and tell people Uti, okay you've realized that you are not at this place your inferiority comes because you're comparing yourself and you're not matching up and you have insecurities maybe take a step back sometimes we need to take one step back in life in order to take two forward you know as a black nation maybe instead of competing with abelungu who have already have a, a a a leg up in the world who are already a step ahead maybe as a black community let's actually take a step back and say you know what we're no longer going to compete in their realm maybe capitalism is not working for us maybe business like the way that they're doing it is not working for us maybe let's take a step back and relook at certain things maybe instead of going and doing a white religion maybe let's focus on a black religion let's focus on our traditionalist values let's focus on our traditionalist morals let's focus on us and do us properly and no longer compete with them so again if you look at the asians you know in china they don't compete in a capitalistic space the way that we do you know they compete in their own realm with each other they, they're not focused per se on the west if we look at uh, the arabic countries they're happy they, they they're happy being islam they're happy with the um, the way that they run their their nation we as the west or developed or as the wawa we will judge ah, 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 ah. they're saying i can't compete in the way that you are doing things we will do things our way yes you might think certain things are wrong that's okay we will do it our way and therefore the moment we stop competing the moment we stop competing i'll stop feeling inferior you know so the moment in terms of sports the moment serena williams stops competing with a likes of sia colisi she will know she will stop she won't feel insecure in comparison to him she won't because she'll be like i'm running my own race you run your own race the moment you start zoning in on you and start developing you and no longer compete 
and stop unfollowing these motherfuckers that make you feel uh, in fear and stop un uh, or start unfollowing all this content that we're consuming every day through social media that's making us feel insecure because all of us are insecure and what makes it worse is that you look at someone else on social media and be like oh, is and that is what's causing the inferiority complex all the time comparing yourself to people's statuses and highlight reels on social media constantly comparing yourselves to people that you know nothing about their lives yet you compare 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 and then you feel inferior guys in gantanda i don't know when it will be hopefully soon anyway please like share subscribe 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 uh and have yourselves a phenomenal day Shout.